When to stop making a guy chase you? Hello ladies and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alex Camont. I'm your French relationship expert. And this question is from Annette. She responded to my survey. When I ask you ladies, what are the topics you want me to do? She asked me, Alex, when should I stop making a man chase me? When can I just relax, trust him, and just consider that we are living a good and healthy relationship? This is just an amazing question. So thank you so much, Annette. And I would like to tell you something very important. Please listen carefully, ladies. We will never stop making a man chase you. And the reason why we will never stop, it's because it's part of what we are looking for. The day your boyfriend, husband, date, consider that he can take you for granted. This is the moment we are losing the relationship. We are losing him because this guy will not think about what you're looking for. Will not think about what you want, what you deserve. He will take you for granted. He will stop doing efforts. And the problem is, then the relationship will fall into the routine before the breakup. So, I know it's not easy to hear what I just said. I told you, you need to always, for the rest of your life, make sure that this guy will continue to chase you, will continue to be after you, wants to please you also. I'm not saying that you can never relax, you can never enjoy the relationship, but you need to also be focused on the control and the attraction. You always want to be positive. You always want to have goals. You always want to be focused on what you're looking for in life. Because that will make a man always in love, always cherish you and value you and give you attention. Because if you're doing like most of the women I'm coaching, that means that there is a moment you consider that you can truly be focused on him and stop making him chase you because you're in a relationship. What will happen? this guy would stop. And that's where you just enter in, basically I would say a toxic relationship because you give a lot, you're like involved and you receive nothing in return. So if you want to avoid what I call the one-sided relationship, where we give, we give, we give, and we, receiving, we receive not so much, we need to make sure that we keep in mind, men love to chase. And it's not bad, it's not disrespecting him, that doesn't mean that you will never be involved, you cannot plan a date. Of course not, you know my philosophy. It's about balancing. But if you tell yourself, I'm okay, he doesn't have to chase me, you will basically hurt your relationship. You will not give him what he wants. It's part of our biological reaction, wish, needs. We need it. We want to make a woman on a pedestal. The day she's not, the problems arrived. So, Annette, I hope that you will follow this video. Let me share with you some tips. I just explained to you what will happen, but let me give you some tips to always make a man chase you. Tip number one, you need to make sure that you control your personal life. Because what I hear all the time is, Alex, now that I'm in a relationship, I cancel my plans with my best friend because he wanted to see me. No way. You need to have your friend, you need to have a job, you need to have some dreams, goals, because the more you balance your life, the more attracted it would feel. So tip number one, never lose your personal life. Tip number two, if you want to make sure that a man will chase you, we want your personality to basically show up. So I want you to always plan some new dates, right? New activities. Because if a man can tell himself, oh my God, I am always spending good time with her. Basically, he will go crazy after you. He will be in love, he will be involved, so he will chase you. If you are doing always the same date, same activity, you can tell that this routine will kill the fact that he wanted to chase you. Tip number three, if you really want a man to be involved, you need to realize that it's about taking your time. Sometimes you would just have so much goals for your relationship, so you would put pressure on him. I would ask you to control your emotions and let this guy text you, call you, because the more he thinks about you, the best it is for us. I know this is counterintuitive. I'm not asking you to change your personality, but just to control your needs and your emotions. I don't want you to be always needy. That will not help. 
by acting like this, by doing this effort, I will make sure that you receive what you're looking for, which is a man that will chase you. And I will make sure that you will be in a healthy relationship also. So in order for you to understand how to change these bad habits, you need to challenge a man. I will say you need to learn how to challenge a man. And that's where I'm the best at. Because I'm French, because I'm a love and relationship expert, and because I created a 20 long minutes video on how to challenge a man naturally. How to make him think constantly about you. This is in the description box right below. If you click in it, it's free. You just enter your email, you access this private video, you learn how to challenge a man. That's a good deal, right? And of course, you need to smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Join me, join the community, and I will teach you everything I know to build a healthy relationship. But keep in mind, a man should always chase you, should always consider thinking about your need and your wish. This is very important. Ladies, I will see you soon for a new video, but remember, you can come on my website, frenchrelationshipexpert.com. There is a lot of articles. You can also book a private coaching session with Coach Andres, Coach Christina, or even myself. We are here as this team. We are here to share with you the best. So remember that whatever you want, we will provide it to you. Let's make this guy come to you. Let's get this guy.